Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, Ladies and Gentlemen, a large carcass of a dead animal called local government looms large. Fraud, corruption, nepotism, deployment of unqualified cadres, lack of service delivery, bloated workforce, and financial mismanagement are the causes of death. Not surprising, the death certificate reads natural causes. Without exception, Eastern Cape District Municipalities Premier are bankrupt, such that in January this year, Amatole District Municipality issued a notice to its staff members that it was, it was unable to pay salaries for February, April, May, and June. Yet, Mr. President, the municipal manager of this municipality is in the same bracket as your ministers in terms of salary. He himself gave he gave himself a salary raise from 1.6 million to 2.4 million per annum. Whilst he earns a cushy 2.4 per annum salary, and in the middle of a, of a rampant uh, pandemic, Kumcha Hospital has been without water premier for three weeks. Despite these glaring weaknesses with the Eastern Cape District municipalities, how can Honorable your government Nana? Address the Premier through the Chair, please. Otherwise, you will be attacking him now, yeah, and he will be tempted to respond. So please continue. Thought as much. I expected that. No, but he's speaking directly to the Premier. <laughs> please, please check my turn. Order. Despite these please glaring please. weaknesses with the Eastern Cape District <laughs> municipalities, how can your government, Mr. President, even in good conscience, contemplate I a model I, I can you tell you here and now, your government will once again be throwing money that we do not have in a dark, bottomless pit. But it is not all doom and gloom, colleagues. As the saying goes, every dark cloud has a silver lining. If you can cast your eyes across the veil of the Gamtus River in the Eastern Cape, is a less spoken about DA government showing all its peers how it is done. The DA assumed office in Koha municipality in 2016, inheriting an institution on the brink of collapse with all the symptoms in the carcass of the animal local government. From 2008 to 2016, a total of 32 million rents in fruitless and wasteful expenditure was incurred by the ANC-led Koha government. This is an average of more than 4 million rands a year. The DA has significantly decreased fruitless and wasteful expenditure. In 2018-2019, it was standing at a mega 53,650 rand. But because we set ourselves high standards, in 2019-2020, they even further reduced they, they further reduced it by 27, to 27,485 rand. The AG has, for the past three financial years, gave Koha municipality a clean bill of health, something our opponents can only wish, can only wish for whilst they're trying to resuscitate the lifeless uh, animal called local government. For the first time in its existence this financial year, Koha municipality adopted an adjusted budget of over 1 billion rands. The previous incapable administration literally spent 0% on capital projects. And by contrast, for the past three financial years, we spent 100 million. We were bequeathed through the backlog of more than 500 million rents in road maintenance. Our predecessors must have learned this from their comrades in the city of Portholes in Makana municipality, because in both instances, they were using a new state-of-the-art technology of filling potholes. They were either using sand or sabuge. Over the past two financial years, we properly filled 24,000 potholes. Under the ANC, under the ANC road maintenance was allocated a mega budget of, of about three million per year. By comparison, the DA-led council has spent 25 million on roads during 2019 and 2020 on a, a financial year. Honorable members, despite the efforts by a rogue law unto herself speaker of Nelson Mandela Bay trying to avoid the inevitable, the will of the people of Nelson Mandela Bay was finally respected because on the 6th of December, a coalition of good governance took reins. 
Ziaduma, we are saying, and the best is yet to come for people of Nelson Mandela Bay. Finally, honorable members, I would like to pay a special tribute to a former staff member and an activist of our party, Lutando Lukele, who was, tragic, who was killed in a terrible car accident outside Mtata, on the end to between Mtata and Kumbu. He will be laid to rest on Friday. May his soul rest in peace in the Sachai.